Hi guys, my name is Janelle. Uh, thank you so much for clicking on this video or for searching for this video. However you found me, um, I'm glad you also want to learn a little bit of Finnish. Um, I decided I wanted to make a video kind of talking about how I even started <laughs> my, my Finnish journey. Um, what I used to learn Finnish completely by myself um, at home. Uh, and just kind of the things that I wish I knew before starting all of this, you know, the programs I wish I bought and the ones that I wish I hadn't wasted all of my money on. Um, so I want to share that with you before you make the same mistakes as me and so you can learn this um, as easily as possible. Alright, so let me start by saying that I am an American. I live in America currently, but I did fall deeply madly in love with the entire country of Finland and the guy but most importantly the entire uh, country of Finland so I made it my goal in life to try to learn this language and this culture and that is what I'm doing and that is what I'm sharing with you so today I'm going to try to take you um, from the cheap free options to better your finish to the extremely expensive options um, and are they worth it? Should you invest money into them? Or should you kind of stray away until you're more advanced? We will discuss all of that in this video. So if you just stick with me, I'm sh I will cover everything that I have personally used and hopefully that helps you a little bit. So the elephant in the room is the Pimsleur Learning Program. Everywhere that I looked, everywhere that I turned when deciding how to learn a language, um, I was met with this Pimsleur learning course. All the YouTube people recommend it. Anyone who's learned a language recommends it. So let's discuss that a little bit. So let's jump into the cons first because everyone wants to hear the bad stuff. And I don't blame you because that's what's going to make you decide if you want to purchase this, download this, whatnot. My first con with Pimsleur. My first bone to pick is that it is very formal. It is very formal. So the course takes you through a scenario that you are an American business person um, on a trip to Helsinki and you are working with other, you're working with Finnish business people. So the lessons that they give you are so formal. And when I mean formal, I mean, so dorky and <laughs> you're gonna sound kind of strange if you talk to just an everyday Finnish person. Um, you know, the things that they teach you to say are just like kind of off from the everyday way you'd say it. Um, to the point where like I'd bring it up to a Finnish person, say, you know, my boyfriend or whatever. And he'd be like, what, why are you saying that? Like, that's not the way we say it. That's very strange. Why are you doing that? <laughs> so it is so formal, like to the point where no one uses that. You're kind, you're going to stick out if you use those forms when you're in public with speaking Finnish, if you're talking to somebody, you're going to kind of stick out like a sore thumb. It is, I called it the Queen's Finnish. <laughs> it is very like you're meeting the president of Finland and he probably doesn't even speak that formally. My second bone to pick is that the course is completely audio. You don't get any written uh, information. They don't provide you with anything written, anything to download. However, um, as you progress in the courses, they do start offering a PDF download, I believe, um, that is just a list of uh, words that you learn in the section. So, um, I mean, Tr like it's really just a white background one through 20 list of the words that you used with no context um, and that wasn't helpful for me I I wanted to see the words that I am being taught um, I, I need to see them still to this day when I don't know a word and finish if you spell it out to me I can say it that's where I'm at oh I was not a big fan of this learning course um, 
So if you're someone who's a visual learner and you want to see the words written out and you, you know, you want to see them in a sentence and you just want to see how it would look on paper, then this probably isn't going to be the course for you. Um, and I think you, that there's more suitable learning material out there and you should keep looking. So the con everybody's concerned about, what is the price of this? Um, I got it on sale. And even though it was on sale, I think I still paid well over $100. I want to say on sale, maybe at like 15 or 20% off, it was like $130 after tax. And that is too high for me. <laughs> that was too high of a price point for me personally. I did still purchase it because I wanted to try it out. Um, but it was pricey, like very pricey. And I think there were much better routes to go than this course for me personally like you could absolutely love it so i don't want to steer you you know in the wrong direction but i'm just from a broke person's standpoint so it was a bit much just a fair warning let's talk about the pros there are pros even though i just said so many negative things about this there are a couple pros so um i think this course was the best one that i found for speaking most authentically um you kind of get a feel for the accent and how the language sounds and if someone was speaking to you if you could catch the words you know it really gave you a feel for the right way to speak Finnish for how it sounds um if your main goal is to sound like you were born in Finland this might be the course for you because it really does help you just kind of get the sensation of speaking Finnish and just hearing it constantly in your ears which is helpful it's very helpful you can really like put headphones in and just walk around and do your Finnish lesson um I did it a lot when I was doing dishes I would you know speak Finnish to my dishes and that helped a lot like I, I could do it while walking around you could do other things you could clean you could exercise but that probably sound really weird you can do so many things while you're listening to this audiobook so that was a, that was a pro for me I wanted you know sometimes I want to be hands-off sometimes I want to be lazy and just walk around and just repeat things after something so what I'm most excited to talk to you guys about is this course that was completely designed by someone else here on YouTube and that was the YouTube channel Alexi himself. Um, he is a Finnish man who is helping people on YouTube and the internet learn spoken Finnish. Notice I said spoken Finnish because this learning course is the only one that I have personally seen and I'm telling you I did a lot of research you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below but this is the only course that I have um, personally found that was all about spoken Finnish and how to not sound like a dweeb when you're speaking to a Finnish person um, so what you get um, when you get this course you get a number of video lessons with the visual of you know the sentence structure you learn the grammar you know the words that sort of thing so you get these video lessons they're you know relatively short if you have a attention span much like mine they are enough that you can you know watch a few come back they're short enough they're not hour-long lessons and then you also get which I was very excited about was a downloadable textbook that he has written um, about spoken Finnish. Um, I ended up, I went over the textbook with my boyfriend, like we went through the entire thing and he agrees with me that this is like a really good tool to have and I always have it on my computer. It's always available for me if I ever wanna like open it up and just kind of do some light reading. I thought it was a very good, I was very excited about that. <laughs> I was very excited because um, I liked seeing the charts. I liked seeing this is how it's, this is the word, but this is how, this is the spoken words. Because when a Finnish person starts using slang to you, it's all over. It's all over. You have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Take it from me. If a Finnish person starts using spoken Finnish, 
and you're using the queen's finish, it's not gonna be a good time for you. You're gonna get lost. So I will, of course, have his um, channel and the link to where you can get his uh, course. I will have that link down below. I mean, I should have all of these linked down below, but this one especially. Um, so you guys can check it out um, price point wise. I won't file it under con because it's not a con. Um, it is, I believe, $99 is what I paid for it. But, you know, when you want to su support the person and support the creator that made this with their own two hands, um, I'm not going to call the price point a con. However, it might be high for some people. That being said, he does have a YouTube channel, so if you want to check out his free lessons, he does do some lessons for free on his YouTube channel. So definitely go check that out if you're not, you know, willing to spend the money yet or don't have the funds. That's completely acceptable. I understand. So definitely go check that out. Um, I liked the visuals. I liked, um, I liked seeing the spoken, uh, counting the numbers are very important to learn in spoken Finnish because you start saying bigger numbers, it's it's gonna be a mouthful. So the numbers are very important to learn. And then um, just any slang, ways to say sentences, even just cute little things that you can throw out there to you know prove that you know a little Finnish, show off a little bit to your family. It's great. I definitely recommend you to go check it out. So I have used the Pimsleur course on my computer and my phone. It is compatible with both. Um, and I did Alexi's finished course solely on the computer. I haven't checked if it's available on mobile, but I can't think of a reason why you couldn't do it on your phone. I think all the formats would be compatible with a mobile device. Um, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure you'd be able to. I just never tried. I just wanted to put that out there. So let's talk about what you can do on your phone. So I don't know if you know this, uh, not a lot of people speak Finnish, unfortunately. Uh, and because of this, uh, Finnish is not available on a lot of your everyday apps. So I went through every like app that I can find and I basically was like, do you have finished? Do you have finished? Do you have finished? And found only a few. And I will tell you guys which ones work the best. So my secret weapon in learning Finnish by myself, which I did by myself, is Word Dive. Now, Word Dive is available on the Apple Store, but I'm not entirely sure if it is available on like Google Play or like Androids. So don't quote me on that. It might be. So I was using this app, which is like Duolingo, but on steroids. Um, so like think about Duolingo, but a little more structured and a little less whimsical, if that makes sense. Um, there are, you know, ga games that you play, you fill in letters, you fill in words. Um, you have like little text conversations with people where you have to choose what words go in what order for what sentence and this really helped me it really honestly helped me so now let's talk about the pros of word dive so i really enjoyed the learning style um, and the exercises that they give you um you do you know fill in the blanks you do vocab, you do some grammar, you do these little text conversations where you pretend to talk to a Finnish person and like if you were having a text conversation, something like that, which was, you know, very beneficial because it's real world applications for the language that you're trying to learn. That every time it gives you a vocab word, um, it then gives you a sentence that uses that word and um, it's spoken to you so you can hear it and then it's written for you so you can see it and it's the same sentence every time that word comes up which I really really enjoyed because after a while like I would see the word and then I would immediately think of that sentence like that was a sentence that that word reminded me of and I would start putting them together like okay that's the way they, you know that word would be used in a sentence um but then these sentences also became like models for like other sentences that I could make. Like it really gave me an idea of sentence structure because 
it's just repeated to you over and over again. Like if you saw the word cat every time and then they give you the sentence, the cat ran after the dog, you're gonna, every time you hear the word cat, you're gonna think of that sentence, the cat ran over the dog. That's not the word, that's not. You know what I mean. <laughs> like you're gonna think of that sentence. Um, so now I have all these sentences in my mind and I have examples. If I try to want, if I want to make my own sentence, um, I have an example of how to do that, which I thought was so great. Um, so that's just an example of the activities that they do for you and how they really, uh, you know, apply to learn the language. So that is one of the pros, the repetition, um, of the exercises they give you because you know if you repeat something enough you're gonna understand it it's gonna stick in your head you're going to get it so I was just absolutely blown away with how much my brain responded to this app so that is why I continue to use it still right now so the con obviously for this application is that it is um, money is <laughs> that you have to spend money on it um, $11 a month adds up. It might not seem like it's adding up when it's on the back burner and maybe just, you know, taking it out of your account, but it does add up. And I know that a lot of people don't want to spend the money, especially for, you know, an app that they'll try to do every day, but they don't know. So if you're not at the place where you can spend $10 a month, it's okay. It was very recently, within the past year, within the past six months even, Duolingo introduced their finish course <laughs> and I took it <laughs> so I know it's controversial for people who are talking about learning a language to mention Duolingo because yes it is true doing Duolingo every day is probably not gonna help you master a language but let me tell you it's probably not gonna hurt Be and it's free like no money it's free um, so obviously I took this course you start with a placement test to see where you should start and it told me I should start at the bottom which made me very sad very sad but I started from the bottom anyway there's a reason people do Duolingo it does help it does have you know good activities that will help you learn this language what I personally wanted it for was the vocab um, I can never learn enough vocab I just need to know these words and Duolingo does vocab you learn vocab in the beginning it just wanted me to translate Finnish names like it'd be like what does this mean and I'm like that's somebody's name bruh that's just like if you were giving an English course and you're like Paul and you're like what does it mean and I'm like Paul that's what Duolingo was doing for a good portion of the beginning but as it progressed I've kind of I've gotten towards the middle where it's I'm in a good spot where this is sentence structure that I need this is vocab that I need um, it's not ridiculously formal I mean it's pretty much just very basic like what you teach to a toddler what you teach in elementary school that's pretty much what um, the Duoling Duolingo course is. So yeah, the sentences are wacky. You might not say them in real life, but you know, it's funny to be like, ha ha ha, the wizard ate an apple, but it was blue um, to your friends. And they're all like, whoa, you can speak Finnish. So, I mean, that's kind of fun. It's entertaining, um, but there is some learning that is happening. You're still learning. Um, so I, I call that, I mean, I call that a pro. The wacky sentences are a pro for me because then I learn more wacky sentences. You can never have too many wacky sentences up your sleeve. I mean, the cons are obviously that Duolingo by itself is probably not gonna get you to where you want to be, but it can be a stepping stone. So what I would recommend for people to do is maybe, um, find a different route to go down, whether it's um, Pimsleur and learning courses and then like Duolingo on the side. But if you wanted to go the free route, which I'll try to make a video on just completely free finished learning, um, 
if you want to go the free route and do YouTube videos and free resources, Duolingo in your back pocket can still help you. Doing that every day can still help you. It's not going to harm you. It's not, it's not teaching you the wrong language. Even though it's a brand new course for the app, it's a brand new course for the company, it's not terrible. It's really not. And it's fun. It's whimsical. You know, <laughs> it's lighthearted. You don't feel like you're learning. And um, to somebody like me, that was really helpful. I hate to feel like I'm learning. I want to feel like I'm doing. I want to feel like I'm having fun with what I'm doing. So um, my recommendation is to start it once you are at an intermediate-ish level. Start it once you have the basics down because then it'll just help you, you know, refresh and learn some vocab. It'll help you refresh and learn some sentence structure. And I mean, the sentences are so wacky that maybe you'll learn stuff that you didn't already know. I mean, none of the rest of the courses taught me the wizard ate an apple, but it was blue. Um, so you will learn some things. I recommend it for people who need something for free and maybe you're not learning Finnish. Um, in a timeline or for any particular reason and just want to kind of see the language, I would recommend Duolingo. I would. I would. <laughs>